Hello, hello, and welcome to Alone in the Dark, Holy Original. This was my second game I ever played in my life. This game came out in the same year I was born, so a few years later. I think I was like four years old, five years old. I remember my dad playing this on like our first family PC. Good times. And then I played myself. Uh, a year later or two, when I was like, six. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah, this game is awesome. I have such... I replayed this game on 2019, five years ago. And I had a blast. It's like, good good games never get old. All good art in general. Never ages, right? So, yeah, amazing. So, uh, I'm playing on the GOG. Uh, and I have the DOS box launcher right here. Damn boy! <laughs> now, I don't remember the controls, and we're gonna find out along the way. Here we go. Alone in the Dark launcher. Launch. I don't know what Jack in the Dark is. Is that like a mini story DLC thingy? Yeah. Boop. Fit. Now, this is the first. The intro! We need to watch the intro. We're gonna watch this anyways when... When we select a new game, I feel like, but we can watch it here. This, this is... This is too iconic. The Progo... Like, I remember... This is burnt on my memory, guys. This is pure nostalgia. Like, this has impacted me so much when I was a kid that... The window. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I haven't played this in five years, but I remember everything. Now, some puzzles I'm not gonna remember, of course. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish the game in one go. Uh, this game has a lot of hard puzzles, I would say. Uh, we're gonna try to figure it out. And this was, I think, the first proper 3D game. And um, it's a horror game as well. The, the sound effects, the soundtrack, the graphics, to me, they look good. It's like, it's like those fixed camera angles from Resident Evil that they went for in the original one, right? This is from 1992, guys crazy 32 years ago <clears throat> so yeah now I try I never played the sake on alone in the dark I, pl I tried playing it five years ago but I never finished it it was really hard and I didn't like it I, it, I don't know it wasn't scary, and the thematic, it wasn't the same. But then, but then Alone in the Dark 3, though, that one is... That one is incredible. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play 1 and 3. We're gonna do, like, Dark Souls. We only play the good games here, guys. Begin a new game, we can choose the female character or the male character. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any difference. I think the movesets, the attacks they can do is different. Um, I think last time I played with the guy. You know what? We're gonna go with the girl, with the woman this time. Let's go. The attorney's letter and he has voice acting. Shock to me. This is revolutionary. My uncle Jeremy had died by his own hand. The coroner's report was unequivocal. He hanged himself in the loft. Oh damn. Yeah, we already watched the intro, but now we're gonna watch it with the... Is it gonna be the intro now with the woman? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the space the space and mansion guys yeah whoa what a mansion like everything like the intro setup is already so like ominous i feel like it's already setting you up in the mood right her face <laughs> oh man no way out yeah this game is the true survival horror creator this was the first one I guess you can say all right, here we go. Now, controls. So we have 20 health actions. We can fight, open, search, close, and push. You have to select them. There isn't like a quick axis or like a quick button to them. So it's kind of uh, old. So, oh, if you approach an item, you can take it like that. So now we have an oil lamp, but we have zero oil. And you can use, reload, throw, and drop. So I'm going to just push. I went to push this closet. Oh, this chest actually. Because a monster is gonna try to come out from there, I think. We're gonna stop that. Now, these are the kind of styles you learn once you fell a, a, a few times. Now, on the window, there's gonna be another monster trying to come in. I don't wanna be fighting yet because we're so weak. I think it's wise to do this. Now, let's try opening the chest, though. The, the, the drove, the wardrobe. There you go. So we got an old Indian cover. And now that we got that, that monster on the window, you see that? It's trying to get in. It broke in. Let me tell you, this was terrifying. When I was six, six, five, six years old, you know? Yeah, but we stopped the monster. Now, can I open this? I can. Oh, we got a rifle. Hell yeah, brother. We got a rifle with four bullets. Now, that is true survival horror. Only four bullets. Let me see. I know our monster is trying to push up through the trap door, but like I said, <laughs> we stopped it. Let me search this. I'm not sure if there was anything here. Nothing here. So it's there on the bottom. Right, let's go. Do, do, do. I don't remember if there was anything else over here. A book, maybe? Find a book. Now, how do you save in this game? Okay, I'm gonna save. Wait, actually, let's put the name. Let's put like one. We're gonna do a lot of uh, scam seven in this game, okay? Because yeah, we're gonna read this book. Fragment of the Myth of the Golden Fleece, translation Edouard de Villeban, Hesperides Publications. Then Perseus came across Ichios. I know gonna read all. There's a lot of books in the in the game, so he spoke to his companions and said, "You wanna read that? P pause the video." May Artemis guide us. Yeah, this is not like Greek we mythology. From... But Imelopes was not satisfied. Why do that, Perseus? Is three. Yeah. All right, there you go. This game has a few. I will say a good amount of books, and it's crazy that they all have like that voice acting. Because back in 1992, I'm not sure that any game had voice acting. But this was one of the first for sure. So it's very surprising. And is 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 I don't know what that was. I think in my opinion is good acting. It's good voice acting. Unlike uh, everyone original. <laughs> well let me see. Can I do anything here? What about this thing? I can just push this around. I don't know what is that for. I'm just checking the different elements. 
Nothing important. Yeah, there is a door there. We were playing on high graphics, guys. Oh, the music is off now. Maybe it's because... We had to, like, refresh it on a new area, maybe. Alright, so that was the attic. Uh, let's explore the rest of the mansion. Now, let me see something. Something very important, actually. Combat. In this game, there is ranged combat with weapons, but there is melee combat. And the melee combat is very important, so... You can fight, and then... We now we are on the fight... Uh, stance, I guess you can say. So now if you press space, now you are in that stance. And if you, if you hold up, you do that attack. If you hold right, you do that attack. If you hold left, left punch. And then if you hold down, is that other kick? Wait. Maybe these are the same. I'm not sure. So basically, the, the important thing about this is each, each attack has a different speed and a different damage. So it's very important when you find enemies that they don't stun lock you because if you get hit, you get like stunned. So you have to do not so slow attacks, but not doing too fast that they uh, takes you a long time and they can like bounce back, you know? I don't know, it, the, the combat is very tricky. I like it though. We got a bow, like an Indian bow. Let's search this. Nothing important. We got an oil can, and in this game, I don't think there is an inventory limit. I'm not sure though, but I don't think there is. And if there is, you can drop items on the ground. There is no like item box or anything. Now, this wardrobe looks a bit sus. But... It doesn't do anything. I'm not sure what happened with the music. We had to refresh the game. And now this is tricky. Let's save. There you go. So now in this corridor, if you try to go across, like in the intro, it's a, bit, it's a little bit of uh, bait. The cr the floor is gonna crack. I think I you. And I think you fall. I don't know what that is. I think that's a monster or something. I'm gonna grab the rifle. Okay, so you aim and then shoot. Okay, let's let's check this door. And I don't know what that noise is. I think that's a monster or something. Hmm, I I don't remember. I think you have to Oh, look at this guy. Right, let's try melee combat. First enemy in the game! Let's see how this goes. Okay. Okay. You see the slot lock? Okay, you have to like, get closer to him. Oh, damn. <laughs> Boom! Slap in the face! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he's dead, I think. Uh. He evaporated. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And right, now we have at 16 health. So we were at 20, and we lost 4 health. It's not too bad. Nothing important. I guess you could have pushing. You could have pushed this... No, you cannot push this one. But I think you can push the table. I'm not sure what that noise is, but I think there's a monster or something somewhere. Yeah, you can push this. But I'm not sure if you can close the door or something. Let's search this. Nothing there. Even if you don't see something, it's good to search. Just in case. A music combat, though. Let's enter this other room. Yeah, there's a... Yeah. I think that monster comes from that window. Trying to find items. This thing here. 
a vase. Oh, he's looking at me! Look at this other guy. Kind of creepy. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, he's coming fast. Uh, I don't think I have time to shoot him. Oof, never mind. Is he dead? Yep, two shots. Okay. I don't want to risk it because I think that guy does a lot of damage. And uh, damage with those jaws, you know? I didn't want to rook. Oh, oh, it's locked. So this one is locked. Now we have a base. I went down through it. So let's throw it. Let's throw the base. Oop. A broken base, leaf, and a key. Take. There you go. Now we have the key and we're gonna use it. And I think now we can search the. Search this. It's locked. Maybe I had to pick this up. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I had to use the key. Oh, there you go. Got to use the key. Okay. Small mirror. Wait, we got two small mirrors. Okay. I love that the camera switches to the enemy coming through the window. It gives you like, like that kind of a feeling that you are in danger. Now, I believe we leave this here. Okay. And now we're going to search this other room. But I'm going to save first. Because I don't trust this game. And I don't remember much from it. Hmm. Let's search this chest. It's locked. Hmm. Is there gonna be a monster here or something? Nothing important. Any keys? Oh, we got a key. No monsters this time, please. Let's see what's in the chest. An all calorie saver. Nice. So now we have a we have a sword to fight. Now let me see the moves for this. Slash, slash, boom. Okay, there's like a back step block or something. What is this painting, by the way? What about this one? Nope. Right. Okay, very important that we got the saber, though. Oh, shit! He's a big boy! So it's bigger than the other one. Right, let's try the new saber. Oh damn, we got him! I don't think the saber breaks, so I'm gonna keep using it instead of melee combat, right? Uh, we don't have to use ammo either, so let's keep going. Oh man, this game is. Uh, I'm not sure if it like if the game is super good or it's nostalgia or it's both, you know. Let's check this other room. Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay. Uh, like I'm saying, uh, there is things I remember and there is other things I don't remember. So we got a first aid case open, and we got a flask. And now we have an empty first aid case. <laughs> so funny. I'll do any of this, so I'm gonna just drop it. I think you can get back any anywhere in the house whenever you want to, so. You may have to backtrack, no water. Okay. So we got some healies. And now. And now we have these creepy purple gargoyles or whatever these guys are. Demons. I don't want to die, so I'm gonna save. And 
There's two of them blocking both routes downstairs. So I'm not sure how you find this out. I think there is a hint somewhere. Maybe the book is a hint. But basically they are telling you that these guys are so ugly that their image will kill them. So you have to place the mirror in this statue. Don't get close to them. When you get close to them, it's insta kill. It's insta death. So basically you kill them you kill them with their own image. Die. We're gonna do the same for this one. Got him. Ah, they're dead. I don't think I need this key anymore either. It's just key, right? So we're gonna put it here. I don't think this game had that mechanic like in Resident Evil when you use a key. The game tells you, oh, you already used this key. You wanna discard it? Yeah, this game doesn't have that. Even though the first two we use... Oh, he's here. <laughs> Never mind, though. Yeah, we're gonna just leave everything here. I don't think I need those keys ever again. But if I do... I'll just come back here. I think everything else we need to... We need to keep it. So... Let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that door is closed. Can save here. Now, this knight can kill you. The thing is, I don't know how it becomes active or how does it aggro you. And I don't know either how you kill it. So I'm gonna not go near him yet. How do you kill that guy? I forgot. I think you have to throw something at him. I'm not sure though. What about this room? Oh, this goes downstairs. So this is a whole new area. Before we go here, let's check the other door. Wait. Oh, we came through the other. Okay, wait. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, this room is probably the most dangerous room in the game. <laughs> in that shirt, you can see like a shape, like a ghost. If you aggro that ghost, it's gonna follow you until you until you are dead. The other thing is I don't know how you kill it. A gramophone. There is matches on the far place there, but I don't think I can get close to get them. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. I wanted to check the other room though, but the, the, the night might aggro me now. Oof, never mind. Let's check this room. Yeah, because the stairs kind of uh, connect with the other side. Alright, we have to go this way, I think. So this is a small corridor. Let me see. Did I come through here? No. This is a bedroom. Okay, let's search this drove. There is something here. Is this a book or something? A notebook. Oh, another one of these guys. Uh okay, let's try this, but oh the Uh, no, I broke it! Oh no, this is so bad. This is so bad. I think I'm gonna reload the game. Yeah. Oh, dang it. We traded. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. 
I didn't know you could break the freaking saber. And you die, man. These guys are so tanky. Oh, man. He's dead. But we are at 6 health. Damn. Let me see how much... How much healing is the flask? Eat. And drink. So we are at six. It has to be like five or ten. Oh. Do you feel better? Sixteen, yeah, it's ten. Okay, I want these freaking enemies. Now I think we got I'm gonna drop the nothing important. I'm gonna drop here the empty flask. I think. Even though you can, you can like throw it, but I don't think you do anything with that. We got a notebook. Let's read it. Diary of Jeremy Hartwood, September twenty-seventh, nineteen twenty-four. I have decided to keep this. This probably diary. my favorite note in the whole game. Too many inexplicable events have taken place recently. Never have dreams so haunted my every waking moment. Perhaps my romantic mind was too dull, and has only now woken up to these new paths and visions. This gave me, like, Lovecraft vibes, you know? Some, seeing my recent paintings, may question my sanity. I can only ask them, what is sanity? Where does madness begin? <laughs> September 28th, 1924. The night. Is pitch black. Alone in the dark. I'm again drenched in sweat. I was wandering in the dunes among giant standing stones. They were arranged in a circle and the wind whistled about them. I plunged my hand into the soil and felt that repulsive thing which was trying to catch me. It seized me. I struggled to break free of its loathsome embrace and managed to tear my hand away. It was covered in sticky substance. I was gripping a knife. Oh, damn. October 5th, 1924. The stone circle mm -hmm. is a pentacle. Der Seto's library is filled with books on the occult. Ooh. I will study those books until I find some explanation for the dreams. The visions that haunt me must be connected to my discoveries. I shall have to undertake a profound exploration of my dreams. December 16th. The voice act. Dear God, I have found the knife. It was hidden here, and what I have learned fills me with apprehension. It is a sacrificial dagger belonging to some unholy cult. The thought of that blade tearing through human flesh horrifies me. Yet I must continue my research. Der Seto is a storehouse of treasures. Was my father right after all? January 23rd. I spend all my days plunged in dusty books. The servants are convinced I am mad. At night, I awaken them with my screams. <laughs> The dreams are draining what sanity I still have. I have tried staying awake, but in vain. My visions have changed. No doubt the influence of my father's research. I love like Oneric and Dream related this stuff, right? Very Lovecraftian. February 7th, 1925. With that occult part and supernatural too. Man, that is what I call him. Has revealed his true face to me. He appeared as usual, near the fireplace. But this time, he approached me. His terrible smile will haunt me to my dying day. His breath was ice and his burning eyes froze me. I could not move. I know, as surely as I have ever known anything, that the face I saw, the face that has turned my nights into hellish torture, is the mask of death. Oh! March 10th. My exhaustion is beyond description. The endless reading burns my eyes. It seems that pirates frequented the area. 
Dr. Herbert insists This is related to the second bed. game, I think. I have moved to another bedroom and sleep much better now. The dark man has not gone, however. I know it. He will wait for as long as he must. Unless I, Jeremy Hartwood, can find a way to send him back to whatever hell he comes from. I love the boys acting so much. It's so good. March 11th. My poor knowledge of Greek and Latin is a serious handicap to my reading. I have, nevertheless, made a great step forward. I drew the symbol on the floor. He can no longer go there. I want him to understand that I can do the same thing in my bedroom. I can imagine his rage and frustration. Only last night he found his way back into my dreams. March 13th. The translation will seriously dent what money I have left. I cannot paint. My pictures are clearly the work of a lunatic. <laughs> the collector Thornhill's embarrassed smile was proof of that. Pickman's model. March 29th. He has come back. <laughs> she found the door to my dreams. I am too weary to attempt any defense. I have no strength left to fight, and he knows it. He considers me dead already. Could I possibly? Emotion, man. March 30th. The desperation. Oh, ironic. The cave my father sought for so many years is here, beneath the house. Wait, the butler discovered a crack in the cellar wall. A breeze blows in through it, icy and repugnant. I am filled with horror at the thought of my father dying in this place. I will carry to my grave the vision of his face contorted in the agony of that fatal heart attack. His body was twisted. He had wept. His fingernails were torn and bloody from scrabbling at the floor. Dr. Gray concluded that death had been due to a heart attack. It was Waits, who some time later was informed that my poor father had in fact bitten off his tongue and choked on his own blood. Oof. Now, I like that they know this kind of telling you more what happened, like context for the game, but it's also giving you hints for future puzzles. I love that combination. March 31st. I explored the caverns in a dream. The dark man came with me. Strangely, I felt almost well. How can I describe what I saw? No. What words are capable of explaining such evil? I realized that my death was of no interest to him. The dark man wants something else. He seeks a body. His avid servants are now free. I am the cause. <laughs> it is almost funny. I lost it. A curse is on Dersetto. From the foundations to the very rooftop, I can no longer struggle, let alone eradicate the evil that grips the house. The end is very near. I can feel it. <laughs> I have taken the decision to... <laughs> May he who finds this diary pray for my soul. Nice. What was his name again? Jeremy Hardy. Okay, that was very interesting. So, let's continue exploring down this hallway. So very important in this... In this kind of games to keep track. This is another bathroom. But in this one, there is something there. Yeah. No. I don't know how to kill this guy, if I'm honest. And I'm not sure if I can enter. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with that guy. Check this other room. The room is in the dark. Oh, wait, wait, we have a... Um, we have the old can. The lamp is full. There you go. So now we have the the old oil lamp. It's like uh, um, amnesia, the darkest thing, <laughs> I guess. So the the empty oil can. 
Let's equip this. How do you turn it on? Should it, should it be lit? We'll turn the surface on. Oh, okay. I need the... Uh, a light or something. Or matches. I need matches to lit it on. Okay, 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 okay. The matches are where the ghost is, so... Yeah. I cannot get it. What's over here? Is that the dining room? Okay, 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 okay. This is the... The painting hallway. We could go there. But I feel like I'm going too far already. So what if I come here? We need the matches. So what I'm going to try to do is get the matches. Um, we could also explore around here. But I want to do everything I can in the upstairs first. Even though it may be necessary to go there first. But um, I'm going <laughs> to... Again, and try to get the matches without triggering the discuss. If I trigger it, it'll be cool because we're all gonna die and we're gonna see uh, the animation. Oh, we got that box of cartridges. Now, is that for the the rifle is reloaded? Oh man, I broke the saver. I don't know if I can repair it or. Or what, to be honest. How many bullets? We have 10 bullets now. It's very good. Now, let's try to go around the gods. Don't get too close. I think it's going to trigger, though. To be honest. Where is this picture? A photograph of Uncle Jeremy with me. So, she used to... She's part of the family? We got a poker. A poker. And a matchbox. Well, I'm very surprised we didn't trigger the ghost. I guess you have to get close. I'm just walking <laughs> as far as I can. Nice, we got it, though. What is this for? Throw boots. Okay, I don't know what this is for. But let's search the room that was dark. I still don't know what that sound is. I think it's just... I think it's random, but I'm not sure. Okay. How do I get rid of that? I call it Octopus. Now, the matchbox, we're going to use... Okay, the lamp is on. There you go. There you go. Now we can see. Okay. The lamp is already lit. So, I cannot search while I don't hold the lamp. So, what if we put the lamp on the ground like this? There you go. And then we can search. Empty handed. There's a book here and a figurine or something. A very heavy statue, statuette, and a book. Looks like there were paintings there, huh? What about this thing? Some bullets. So I'm guessing there's going to be another different weapon. I'm not sure. Huh? <laughs> you got to love it. Now let's take the lamp again. Now the lamp is using oil. It's 47 now. So when, go when we go out... Can you turn it off? I'm not sure though. I'm not sure if you can turn it off. 
scared the fuck out of me. Holy shit. Um, okay, what do we do now? I wish you could inspect the items, you know, to like get a hint of what they do. I don't know. This is trial and error. So I think the very heavy statue is for the knight. I think we just throw it at him and he dies because it's very heavy, you know? So it's like a blunt. It's like a blunt attack. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that. I'm gonna be saving a bunch because this game is a lot about retrying. So we're gonna get in here, in front of him, angle, and then throw. And I missed. Maybe we have to be closer. No. He's gonna attack me. Yep. Uh, For fuck's sake. I need my shit. Uh, that was fine. Oh my god, that's so much damage. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> that was too much damage. This guy is strong. So I need to be... That close. Throw. I missed again. Or to the right. Okay. Come on. Oh! Got him! Now we got a sword. And this statue, we can leave it there, I think. Hey, what's up, old man Jai? What's up? Welcome. A sword. I'm not gonna use it this time because the last time I broke it, so. Uh, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna like leave it here, I think. I'm gonna go downstairs. So I'm not sure if I have anything, everything I need for that. Like I said, I played this game five years ago, so I don't remember everything. Um, there's a lot of puzzles. We're gonna drop that there. What is the the handle of oh, this one? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave this here. Now we're gonna explore this spot on the floor. Let's see what's in here. It's locked. Okay. Okay, so it's a garden. Search this. We got an arrow. Oh, we got spiders! Ah! They follow me here? How do I kill the spiders? We got three arrows. And we have the bow, so maybe we have to use that. The spiders? Oh, we... There's a door there. Yeah, the spiders don't go out of the garland. Okay, that's good. I was scared there for a second. What about this door? So this is the kitchen. The kitchen is very important. We have a pot of soap. You cannot carry anything else. So there is inventory limit. Oh, damn. There is inventory limit. So that means we have to solve more puzzles behind us, I think. We got this book. Before I read it, I'm gonna say. I don't even trust books in this game. Let's see. A Brightness from Afar by Lord Bolliskin. Okay. Following a splendid journey. Upon the promise of a few coins, one admits to being somewhat flabbergasted. The it would be pointless to offer here the names of the constellations one. The cross cast its shadow on the ground. I'm not sure if this has any hints for any puzzles. Will, one is convinced. Set light to the souls of men. I will find Such out. A moon. <laughs> How strange to consider that idle conversation 
Some research this thing in the with British Yeltsin. Museum and of yeah, interesting book. Game saved. Diary of a Journey. So after you read the book, you get the name of the book. Interesting. Now yeah, we're gonna drop this to this book. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, I think that's enough for now. So here we get the um, pot of soup. What is this? This is another room. Like a storage room or something. There's a key here. Okay. We're gonna search everything. A biscuit box. I don't know what that's for. A biscuit box. Cookies, man. You gotta get cookies. Okay, sure. Is this for like the mice around the house or the the rats or something? I remember something about rats and bait or something, but I'm not sure if this is the item. Or maybe it's just heal. Maybe this is a, like a heal item because it said eat, drink. So, yeah. All right, let's see if anything is locked. And if not, we'll we got a knife. Not sure. I don't know. I haven't played this for maybe thirty years. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I gotta call you Man Jai or Jai, J, Jai. Okay, there's two more doors here and. Uh, Another, another matchbox. Oh, that one's. Does the matchbox run out of matches? Because it doesn't have a number. Maybe this is like a, a alternative spot to find them. Why is there like a? Yeah. What if I put the pot here? Oh, you can eat, drink this too. I don't think that. I don't think this is for us. I think we have to give this to someone else. Uh, and, I, and I don't know either if I need the... If I need the knife for something else other than fighting. Um, what about the sink? No water. Okay, what about this room? Okay, this room has... Coal? What is that? Oh! Something fell from behind me! Okay, we're gonna use the rifle. Boom! Boom! Drop dead. Got him! I have eight bullets. I think that's. That's a lot of bullets. Okay, let's search. There's uh, oil there. Anything here? It's full of water. Full of water. So we need water for something. I guess. A box of shoes. Why is there a box of, of shoes there? Hello? <laughs> well, we're going to keep in mind that... That's there. Now, let's check this other room. Okay, so I believe this connects with the garden room, but we go through a different corridor. Sure. Okay, 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 okay. There's a bunch of uh, monsters here, but they're, like, sleeping or something. Now, we don't want to wake them up. So I think for these guys, you had to, uh, I don't remember. I think you had to put the pot to like feed them. It's like their, it's like their food. So can I, <laughs> that scared me. Can I put the pot like here? Oh, there you go. So everyone now is looking at the pot, but this guy's still coming at me. <laughs> this guy is not giving up. 
So we're gonna show him the rifle. Did I miss? Oh, this guy's immortal or something. Oh, he just went to sit. <laughs> he was just sitting down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're not attacking me. So. You guys have a good... Uh, you guys have a good uh, dinner. Now, I'm gonna play Alone in the Dark 1. And uh, after I finish this, I'm gonna play Alone in the Dark 3. Because I think that's my favorite one. Like, this one is special, but... The third one is so good. And the sec... Nothing important here. Okay. I'm scared, man. Like, I don't know if I can aggro these guys again or something. I don't even know where I'm going. There's so many... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Smoke is gone away. Can I take this? A lighter. So the smoke is killing me. Hello? So it's like... It comes, it comes out, then it goes back. Okay, what if I go to this door very quick? It's locked. Okay. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm dead, man. I'm actually dead. Wow. Oof. I'm six health. I don't have any heal. Should I should I eat this? Do you feel better? I got five health back with the cookies. We got some cookies. Man, the freaking smoke. So strong. I feel like I I feel like I need something from there. Okay, yeah, let's go this way, I guess. I don't even know where we are. Okay, so we are connecting with this corridor. Okay, okay. Um so we can go to the cellar or this other corridor. And this other corridor is the one that connects with the kitchen. So there is no point on going there. And then... Hmm... Let's go here. Okay, these are the rats I was talking about. So I'm not sure if they attack me or... Or how you get rid of them. We got some bullets. Oh! <laughs> Fucking rat! It's coming for me! I need to leave. Go. <laughs> That's rich. What the hell? Stomp on the rat, lady. I'm not sure if you can kill it with melee combat, but... Man, I'm solo health. Maybe I should, maybe I should reload. Because the fucking smoke uh, messed me up. Right. Let's go back to that corridor where we saw the painting. I'm gonna try to do that section now, even though I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'm gonna try. Also, I never try opening that door because I don't think you can. Or if I can do it, it's bad for me, but I'm gonna try. It's locked. Okay, so we cannot enter that. That's a library. Okay, spoilers. That room there is the library. And I also want to kill this guy. So... I'm not sure if you can kill with bullets, so if, you, if you need like a... Like a certain strategy, but we're gonna try. Oh, you can. Is that enough? Oh, he's tanky. Maybe you kind of kill him. Maybe you just have to stun him. Get the jug. Go away! <laughs> Alright, so we got the jug. I think we need to get water on there. The other thing is, I don't know for what. But now, I want to search this. I want to get the first aid kit and get out. And 
I think that's a good trade for me. <laughs> we lost five health. We lost five health. But we got the heal. And I think the heal is 10, so... I must say worth, you know? Gloop, 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 gloop. <laughs> ah. Ah. We have 26. That was 20 health. Uh, super worth it. Super worth it. Let's drop this here. Do I have more space? Yeah, let's go. I don't remember. I'm gonna save on a different slot. I don't remember what the knife is for. Oh, I meant to go there. Also, in this game, in this game, if you go into a dark room and you walk around, you can get lost. Is that a werewolf? Werewolf? Alright, so now here, in this corridor, this guy is like an Indian with hatches. Uh, if you walk down the corridor, he's gonna start throwing hatches at you, like the painting. So the only way to avoid that is to cover him with that item we got at the beginning of the game, called uh, Old Indian Cover. And now it's cover, you guys see? Now the only problem is that painting at the end is gonna shoot me arrows. So we need to take over. Or like avoid it. Yep. Oh. Bro. Oh. Bro, what the fuck? It's that aim. <laughs> okay. We're gonna retry. Wait. Okay. Okay. Now I'm confused. Maybe I had to cover the one that shooting me arrows. Because this one is not. Is this gonna throw me hatches? I'm not sure now. Yeah. I'm the, I'm, I'm zigzagging. Okay. Okay. Fuck you again. I'm minus four health apparently. Wait, did I die? Oh, let's see the death animation. Here we go, Jay. The coffin. The end. Oh, they put it in like a sacrificial altar. Scary. Okay, so there's they're throwing us matches and arrows. That's a yikes. I don't think you can find it. You can find another cover to avoid that. So, and at this part of the game, I mean. I think you can find later. So what we're gonna have to do is, is just go, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, no. Okay, I have, a, I have a new idea. What if we throw? What if we use the bow with my own arrows, and we shoot that guy? I don't know. I'm just testing at this point. I don't know how to get past this point. Oh, I think we got him. He show he showed that, right? That means we kill it. It makes sense, like. You had to kill the arrows with the arrows.
and then the hat should recover it instead. It's very clever. Man, this game is awesome. <laughs> uh, this is bad on the old school games. Now when the retro games you had to like use your brain. And the puzzles were so unique and I don't know. A book. It's a very weird looking book. There's something behind the clock. You guys see that crack? <gasps> a key. And a parchment. What is this? The Creatures of Night by Hubertus the Bald. I wonder if this is more than from Latin person. by his brother in prayer of monstrosity. You who read me know that night engenders monsters and that night creatures exist. The accursed book of Abdul al Hazred is clear on this matter. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Unhappy he who knows that book. Unhappy he whose eyes alight upon that foulest of texts. Unhappy he who implores the standing stones, for he will free the powers of darkness <laughs> of the pit. Stagnant waters are like the memory of men. Beneath the surface calm, clawed beasts await and are known to initiates as the deep ones. Awaiting his prey, the Deep One seizes him and drags him down to the abyss, where Dagon, the cruel god, swims and reveres him is a whose crab, name story. may not be pronounced. Of libraries, unhappy he who frees the prowler, unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres, he believes the vagabond does not exist. Hmm, the prowler. That reminds me of the what was that entity called? The Chambler? Something like that? Yeah. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams, stone no more than wind. The vagabond knows how to take the breath of the reckless. Of He's a long note. He who speaks does not know and believes he is able to kill the creatures of the night. Folly. <laughs> Evil is conjured up by science and secrecy. Okay, I guess it's not going to keep breathing. Uh, I don't think this is important. I think the first part about the book was important. He who prowls among books. Oh, now it's continuing the previous the paragraph. Of death. There are domains more terrible than death. Translator's note. Here ends the manuscript of Hubertus, who died in the library of the convent of Teruela in the year of our Lord, 1666. Requiescat Requies in pace. Okay. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Now, we got a book. I think... I'm pretty sure... I'm gonna save. That painting, though. Spoilers. What the fuck? Yo, look at this painting. This is crazy. Oh, look, that's the the desert dreams he was talking about with the big stones. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna drop this. We got a key and a book. Okay, I think if I read that book, I'll legit die. By the way, it's a curse book. But oh, we're gonna try. It's a fake book. 
Okay. So we will have to put this somewhere to open a mechanism. Because yes, like, do you guys see that? It's something. Hmm. And this door goes to the library. It's in the dark. Wait, what up? What, what, what about the lighter? Wait, what did he say? <laughs> oh shit, did you guys see that? Now that enemy... Oh fuck, this sucks. I have an idea, what if I leave the lighter? What if I leave the... That enemy, I'm guessing that's the spirit of... Uh, can you open it from... Oh, I'm, I think I'm dead, actually. Too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. I don't even remember I did that creepy noise. That was, that was scary. So my idea is to leave... Oh, I can't go... Oh, yikes. It's immaterial. It can go through objects. Now... This bookcase here can open. You guys see it? It's slightly different. Now we have to place the book on the right spot. And I don't know where the right spot is. Bro, look at this freaking guy. I'm gonna leave the, the lamp here. There you go. And now we can see and go around this room. Now, like I said, I don't remember where you have to put the book. Nothing important in this bookcase. This is so stressful because this is like... This feels like Mr. X. You know? But even... Even harder because you have to stay in the room with him. You know, you have to solve the puzzle within his room. We got a book. Not sure if that's gonna help him anyways. And also he's a ghost. That can't die. We get there a lot of books. I gotta remember you have to put it in a specific spot. But no, I don't know where what there is a mechanism to trigger. Oh, I found it. Okay, let's let's read all these books. If rocks could after the criminal selling off of Florida by the Fantastic uh, French. He was an adventurer of the rocked by a mania of persecution. Beautiful. Ooh. Is this like a hint of this house or something? I'm not sure if this is gonna help us in any way, but good to know. We have a map. When the work was finished, rocked by a mania of persecution. I don't know. When the w in June of 1862, their settle was burned down in unexplained circumstances. It was undoubtedly the deed of some jealous Yankee or another. In 1875, the property was eventually bought by a gentleman whose name was the Howard Dad's Atwood. protagonist, right? I was sorry that my father would delight it in fine conversation. Artwood was fascinated by Pickford, and Artwood set about studying every volume in that library, and often talked to me of his research. Artwood worked incessantly, first from the room I offered. Interesting. I wonder... Story of a Louisiana, Louisiana plantation. Okay, let's put this book here. There you go. We opened that bookcase. We need to get the fuck out. Okay, okay, we did it. And now inside this room. There you go. There's this pentagram thingy that the other node mentioned. And this pentagram basically is protecting us from that from that monster coming in and attacking us. So that's nice. There is that device there. I don't know what that's for. The dagger. We heard about the dagger. And another dagger. And another dagger. And a note. And another note. And another book. 
And I can not carry another book. Holy shit. Okay. Sorry for the annoying noise. We got so many items here. So this story, we already read it. We're gonna throw it. Shit. Okay, let's throw away all the books we don't need. A talisman. So we got a talisman. And it's also a pentagram, so maybe as far as we carry these, we're fine? I don't think so, though. <laughs> but I'm gonna save just in case. What is happening? I don't know. Let's... Get rid of these other boots. Unfinished chapter of Terra Incognita by Jacob Van Ostate. In those icy and unwelcoming lands, these people, naturally placid, I admit to being impressed by these tales. Here is a living example of the power that words contain. <laughs> okay. It's Antarctic stories. I don't know what that noise is. Terra incognita. Bro. Jit. Did we throw it? Yeah. yeah. The sons of the sun and of the shadows. Holy Christ! cried Captain Cortez, as we discovered. This frightful game was a ritual most holy to them. The interior of the temple was surprisingly cool. This massive stone draped in a golden cloak and horror of horrors! Captain Cortez cried, ATTACK! Fritz, we were unable to move. Never will I forget that terrible moment. Drawing of Chalchi Huitlique by Dom Jose de la Sierra. Dom uh, you can see so many different ideas from so many different like influences of other books and horror stories. I don't know, there's a little bit of everything in this game. Kind of crazy. Jit. Okay. Now we have three different daggers and only one kills this guy. And I don't know which one is it. <laughs> um, maybe these notes have a clue. The Book of Yael. Numerous devilish courts speak of monstrous the old creatures ones. called all of craft, you know. the Old Ones. These supernatural beings are believed to be possessed of powers equivalent to those of the gods of antique religions. What serious student of folk myths has not come across the names of Cthulhu and Shub Nigurath? I mean... <laughs> it must taught. be said that these creatures wield tremendous power and are difficult to control once they have been unleashed into the world. Those who serve he who goes in shadows protect themselves with signs of stone carved into the walls of houses or engraved on various objects. What about near Lathotep? For those misguided servants of evil, the best protection appears to be that afforded by the sign of the most ancient gods. Engraved in Menar stone, a heavy material said to be disagreeable to the touch. The elder and the sign. The sinful practices of those who fall into such errors can only lead to the darkest of despair and are a mortal danger to the soul. Such monsters as those invoked by these foolhardy individuals are engendered when reason drops its guard. Man is easily tempted into perversion. It is why we must forever remain alert 
and renounce Satan with each breath we take. His ways are infinite in number. Mm -hmm. Signs and rituals. So it's good that we have this talisman then. Yeah. yeah. We can drop this. I don't think we need that anymore. Now we're going to read this other one. The sacrificial this is important. Auto stick. The importance placed on ritual sacrifice is constant in religious cult practice. Propitiating the gods is a theme common to many religions. Okay. The members of the social and religious community come together in an act of purification. I want to know what dagger I have to use. It would be erroneous to imagine the act of human sacrifice linking priest, offering, and God, C.F. Manzetti, Stone Courts, as studies made concerning primitive religious groups bear witness to the central role of sacrifice in living ritual. My own work in the field of ethnopsychology brought me into contact with a sorcerer living in the region of Arkham. Arkatonic University. Me to the right of steel, linked to a ceremony known as adoring the black goat of the woods with a thousand youngs. The god being adored is known as the vagabond. The vagabond, the same they mentioned in the library. Now, what is a dagger? Here, the dagger's roll, which allows the life breath to pass from one dimension to another, is essential. Okay, we get it closer. The vagabond is a frightening figure, being able to move where he wants and to kill those who have displeased the goat guard, for whom he acts as a go-between. The goat is clearly a fertility god. The priest, having spoken the invocation, must choose the appropriate dagger for the sacrifice. Okay. The knife with a sinusoidal blade that must be dipped seven times on night when the moon is full, in water that has been distilled a hundred times, will be laid aside, since it would send the vagabond back into his own dimension. See illustration. <laughs> Thank you. Wait. Must be deep seven times on nights when the moon is full in water that has been distilled a hundred times. So I need the water? It's not a word without the water? The priest will rather choose the dagger with a curved blade. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The knife with... The priest will rather choose the dagger with a curved blade. That is more appropriate for slitting of the lamb's throat. This act transfigures the sorcerer priest and plunges the assembled worshippers into a divine trance. I'm so confused right now. Now I don't know which, which one I have to use. I'm just gonna try this one. You know? Let's see if it works. Oh! Correct! Got him! Okay. I mean... Do we need anything else in this place that I had to get rid of this guy? I'm not sure. Well, let me get my lamp back. 73, that's good. Let's get out of here. Maybe we need the other dagger for something else. The thing is, I don't know for what. <laughs> so... Let's think. Let me see this dagger. Okay. What do I do now? I think everything in this, in this floor is clear. I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I think so. Let's go down. Okay. Now we're gonna do probably the hardest fight in the game, in my opinion. So let's grab the sword. 
Let's save. And let's open this door. It's locked. But we have a key, right? Hey, it's not for this. Okay. Now, that is the mansion's main door. If you try to get out of there, you're not going to have a good time. Everything is locked here. That doesn't seem to be the key for that. Yeah, I'm playing the new Alone in the Dark. It looks sick. It looks so good, to be honest. Right, here we go. This guy. How are you, Clever? Welcome. What is my sword? Okay. This guy is like a pirate, and this fight is super hard. Yeah, he, he like blocks. Oh, I think I got him once. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got him! Let's go. It's very hard at first if you don't know how to move on what attacks to do when you hit him. Pop, pop, pop. Because he blocks and then he hits you. Oh, we got him. We got another key. Is that, is that a book? A random book here. I guess we're gonna read that. Um. Demonia Particularis. Signs and Rituals. The ritual of invocation demands that the officiant be pure. The sign I wanna, like, resembles a blessing. Wave for him to read everything. Save so that the first and little fingers are both folded beneath the thumb. Do I need this? Whilst the second and third fingers are held up, it would appear that this sign has no effect on adepts of a certain rank with knowledge of particular secrets contained. I don't know. I'm not sure if that book is for a puzzle or just for the lore. Now let's open this door. It's locked. We opened it. A key to the dance hall. Jit. I love how you throw the items and they just fly. Do I need this talisman anymore? Like, I don't know if I need any of these daggers for anything else. So I'm just gonna drop them all there. Maybe they're just made to confuse you, to not know which one to use against the library monster. But we're gonna just put there, like, four daggers. <laughs> Same with the arrows. I'm not sure if I need the arrows anymore. I mean, I have the bow. I guess I could use it, like, uh, against enemies. I'm just throwing a bunch of items there. <laughs> yeah, right now I don't have too many items. We can continue. I'm gonna go back to the kitchen and grab... Oh, look at look at the dance hall. Look at those guys. It's gonna be interesting. This one is locked. And it's not this key. We have a key that I don't know what's for. And I'm pretty sure that's a room with the cigar thing, right? Oh no, okay, okay, okay. Wait, what about... Is this the garden? This is locked too. And I tried this and it doesn't work. I, I think that... That door is the garden, right? Because if I go here... Hmm, let me try opening through here. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? The, the spiders... The spiders don't let me cross. Okay, then I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, let's grab the the shoes. I'm gonna fill the jar with water, even though I'm not sure if I need that for anything. Jar, a jug. Use. Okay, do you fill the jug? A water jack. What is this for? What if I drink it? I'm gonna say first. I don't trust this game. <laughs> I don't trust this game. Uh, drink. 
I was at 24 health, I think. Oh, so it doesn't give you anything. Stagnant water. Ugh, so that's not good. Is that gonna kill me over time? What if I start losing health? Why not go to the store and get some raid bug spray? Sure. Now nah, I'm gonna use my rifle against the spiders and just shoot them. A box of shoes. Search. I got a revolver. There you go. That's what I wanted. So now the bullets that we have, we can use them now. Okay, we throw away the the box, and now I have a lot of bullets here. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna use that for like small enemies, I guess. We have a key. A gramophone. Okay, I'm lost now. What did she say? The revolver is what? I don't know. Why can't I not? Is there anything here? Nothing important. Hmm, like this room here with the fucking smoke is kind of. Oh, maybe the. Okay, 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 okay. The the water. We use the water there to get rid of the of the smoke. I did not remember that. I just thought of that right now. Please tell me it's gonna work. There you go. Please don't hit me. Yeah, right, there you go. Bro. Big brain. A whole gramophone in your pocket? What is this Silent Hill Origins? Yeah. Uh, she's... She, she, she got a lot of space, you know? So this one is locked too. What about if... What if this key is for this one? Okay. Hmm. Can't get rid of this key. The key to Jeremy's studies. Study. Okay, what is it? Is that an enemy? Oh, it's a shield and a sword. How do you play this game, Clybird? A record. A book. Nothing important. What is this thing? Maybe I had to push it. No. It looks like you can move it or something. Oh, it's just like a desk. It's a desk. It looks it looks like oh, it looks so weird. Maybe I have to search. Over here? Nope. Alright, so I think here with this sword. There is a mechanism to trigger. I think you had to put the other sword to like cross them both. And then the mechanism triggers, I think. So how do you do that? A sword put. Okay. No, but it has to be. It's a different kind of sword. This one is like curved. So, ah, maybe it's the sword I broke. <laughs> Oops. Good question. I played this for like five minutes and I was like, yeah, I don't have enough patience for this yet. <laughs> Welcome to 1992, Flyper. <laughs> like, I remember playing these games. Uh, we didn't have internet. We didn't have guides. It was just pure thinking. And I remember... Two of my friends had this game too. We all we all got it from like a magazine, like a video game magazine, okay? Um and we were all playing at the same what a boomer. We were all playing at the same time, like each one on their house. And then in my name, for example, I came out now and I killed this enemy. Or I progressed to I progressed quite a lot. So I will call my friend. And we will talk for like hours about like, yo, did you get there? Yeah, did you get beat that? Did you do that? 
and then if it was stuck or if I was stuck, we will like help each other. <laughs> oh yeah, to get past that, you have to get this item and put it there. Like yeah, stuff like that. That, that was good times, man. Those were good times. Um. So yeah, I need the other sword. I'm not sure if I can put it broken, but I'm gonna try. Now, where did I leave it? I leave the sword over here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Because if I had to repair it to put it there, I'm not sure I'm gonna do that. But it says there's a mechanism, so it must be important. Let me see. Or maybe I had to find... What, what did she say? She put the saver? Oh, yeah, we did it. Even if it's broken, you can do it. And we open this secret cellar. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Now, I can go down there. I can go to the kitchen. Where else can I go? To the dance hall? So I have three different routes I can go now. Oh, let's go here. Even though... Yeah, I'm not going here. <laughs> no, thank you. I feel like that's... Oh, I, I, I mean, push the button. I feel that's too... Too much progress. So... I feel like once you go there, there's no way back. So before I go there... I'm not sure though. Maybe... Maybe I'm missing, like, a key item. Oh, now we can open this too. Nice. I wanna see this, man. So if you open the main gate... Like, do you guys remember in Resident Evil 1? Or you open the main gate and the dogs come and it's like rah, rah, right. I mean, they copied this from this game. Look at this. Oh, fuck! Jan <laughs> the end. <laughs> Did you just this game is called Alone in the Dark. I don't see much darkness in this place. True, bro. True. So we got um, a book and a record. Let's read the book. The tale of Captain J.W. Norton of the Army of the Union. I don't care. 1862. Are you gonna keep South it? was in collapse. We received a less than hearty welcome. And our host proved a most entertaining conversationalist. I remembered campfire tales of fellow officers trapped by devilish confederate tricks. Patterson's return chased off the nightmare. This is brilliant because you have many different notes with many different topics and they relate to future games with many different voice actors because they're playing different characters from different times and places. So it's so rich. I feel like it's so rich. There's so much stuff going on. Now, of course, if I had to, if I want to listen to each single book in the game, the stream is going to take a double the game's length. So I'm just leaving the text in the screen if you guys want to like pause it afterwards or something. All right, so I believe with the record, we have to put the gramophone and the record for the dance hall. So the monsters dance instead of instead of killing us. The same we did with the pots and the thumbies. I'm going to call them thumbies because they look like, uh, you know. Uh, these monsters here, uh, the weakness is the music. We have ray beams in games now. Exactly, right? We have ray tracing. Now, my, my only problem is I don't remember which record you have to put because I have one record. But there is another one here. Huh. And there is an item there that I need. This is Thriller. Thriller night. Na, 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 na. What is that, by the way? Okay. 
Man, this new Alone in the Dark game, it came out today, guys. So good, by the way. So good. Let's test it. Let's test, let's test which one we have to use. There is no room. Yeah, because I want to put it on top of the thing, lady. <laughs> so are you telling me I have to put the gramophone on the ground? Sure. I will. And now we're going to use... Which which one should we use, guys? The purple record or the green one? There is nothing. Wait, what? Oh, maybe I have to have it on me. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, uh, this is not working. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh. Okay, that doesn't work. Dance of death. There you go. I don't think I can touch them. So I need to... I need to dance around and dodge them. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for the moment. I need to pick that item. That looks like an arrow, though. Why do I need an arrow? Oh, this guy's coming closer to me. Too close. Oh, this is a key. Okay, I guess we needed that. It's locked. Okay. This is the door to the garden, right? With the spiders. Yeah, so we don't want to go there. What is this thing? There's something on the wall there. What is that texture there? It's so weird. Oh, those are the items from the other room <laughs> that I left on the ground. Yeah, yeah, they are there. Right, we got a key. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. They're, they're blocking me! Ah! Okay. Go around. Go around. And we're out of here. Get me out! Ah. Oh, they, they died. Did they die? Oh, they're dead. Ah, we cleaned the room. Good. We're gonna, we're gonna leave the music. <laughs> Throw the ground phone to the dancers. Die. <laughs> These dancers are not true music. Oh, we need to put some Skrillex. Um, okay, we got a key. What is this for, though? That's a good question. I don't need the jug anymore, I think. We use the water. So I'm going to throw the jug, too. I want to clear my inventory a little. Jit. Yeah, we're going to keep the rest. The poker? I don't know what the poker is for. To poke you? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save. Uh, uh, me Gordon. Hey, oh yeah, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna play Doom soon, man. I need to play Doom. I played Doom Eternal as well. A uh, couple years ago. And I never replayed it. And I played it on my old graphics car. On like super low resolution. So now that I have a new GPU, I wanna play it with like good quality because that game is fun. Doom Eternal is a masterpiece. Playing Atomic Heart and the soundtrack slaps. That game is. I heard good things about it. Uh, reminds me of a little bit like Prey, Dishonored, uh, like that Cyberpunk vibe to it so now i'm gonna go to the cellar first with the mouses because before we go down there the only thing that i have in check is the is the cellar so how do you get to the cellar this way i think 
Yeah, this way. That was a good song. Right now, I'm gonna try to kill the rat. Bro, 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 bro. How do I kill a rat? Is it a revolver? Yeah. That doesn't work. Do I need to search something here? Nothing important. I'm just trying that way. Nothing important. I'm not sure when you search how much you cover, you know, like I'm not sure if you cover the whole thing. Half the shelf. I'm not sure if let's say there is an item here, right? And I search here. Will, will I found it? Or do I need to search here and then again there? You know what I mean? Like I don't know what's the hitbox or like the range. Some Yeah. But how are you, how are you lighting how are you liking Atomic Heart? Oh, there's some barrels there. Man, but I... I remember something that if you go too far here, you die because of a worm or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Nothing important. Fucking rats, mate. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. I block. Yikes. Bro, fuck you, game. How much health? How much health did I lose there? It, getting hit by that? Like... 8? I'm reloading, I don't care. Uh, this game lets you save any time. And like Resident Evil with the ink ribbons. Because of that reason. Because... You had to experiment. And a lot of stuff are gonna screw you over, so... We're gonna try this again. Even though I feel like this is not good for me. But it may be good for me. So how can I get rid of this without getting hit? There you go. Is that to not be so close? Oh! No one will notice. Uh, let's go down here. Even though I think if I go here, I die. What the fuck? Get the fuck out. That's a big worm. Bro, rat is literally body blocking. So I think we cannot go there. I don't think I, I can even kill that enemy. I don't even think I can kill that enemy, but... Hmm. I think I have to shoot it from a different angle, from a different place. And then he goes away, and then I can go that way. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But that's some old memories I have, I have there. Have you played uh, Clyber? Have you played Prey? Because I think if you like Atomic Heart, you will like Prey. Right, let's go down here. Believe it or not, to reach this exact... To reach this part of the game, when I first played the game, it took me many, 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 many hours. Many, many hours. But of course, once you know each puzzle's answer, or at least most of them, is a lot easier. I love Prey when I play. Oh, you already played it? I'm glad you liked it. I don't think I ever got here. But you told me you finished the game, right? Maybe you... I think you can finish the game in different paths. I'm not sure, though. But... Yeah, you have to cross this running. If you walk, you die. And now we are in this same corridor that will reach from the cellar. I used to play that a lot as a kid. I was young. I, I feel you. Yeah, I, there were a lot of games I could never even reach. Like, at least in progress, because I was, I was just bad. I didn't figure out the puzzles. We were just, we were just running around fighting monsters. Not really caring for... Okay. Is, that, is this another path, or is the wall? It's the wall. I, I feel like this game, when it comes to like atmosphere and like the sounds and the locations you go to, I think it's very good. 
Oh! This is the worm I was talking about before. But he's not coming for me now. Hmm. But if I keep going, he's gonna come for me, right? Can I kill this guy? Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm not sure. Eat this. What is this key for, by the way? Loading this game was a game. I had the DOS version. It took forever. This is the DOS version. Old J. Look at this. I'm going to show you. Yeah, I see. You see? <laughs> and now if I launch the game, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Boop. Yeah, this is the GOG version Cliber. Oh, we're back. Um, the trilogy, I only that one, two, and three, the original trilogy on GOG, when it goes on sale, is like three euros. All all the three games. So it's like one euro each game or something. It's like, okay. It's <laughs> super so worth it. And now the new game came out and it's 60 euros. I think they I think they overpriced the game, to be honest. Um it's not like a triple A game. I understand there is a lot of cost behind the produce in the game. But man. I'm not sure. It's, what's better? To sell a lot when it comes out? Or to sell little and just the people who will buy it for high price? Like I'm not sure. You know the balance? Would you rather sell 100 copies for 60? Or sell 200 copies for like 40? You know what I mean? Because I think double A games usually come out at like 40 euros or like 30, 40, that, pri that, that price range, right? So 60? I don't know. Look at how levers do. 40 bucks, sold million of copies. I think they won. Not a triple A game, right? So the thing, the thing with me is like, I wait a little. The game gets patched and then it gets like fixed. You get the bugs and the glitches and all the problems up from launch. Because usually, not, like back in the days, like by when this game launched, this is it. The game is finished. There is nothing else. But you, you, you are hundred percent sure the game is gonna work out of the box, right? But nowadays with games with patches and online services. An online connection that the developers can like <clears throat> patch the game. There is a low probability, a, a big probability that the game is gonna launch rushed because they have to like finish the game in schedule. They don't have time to like test it, right? And usually the game a year later or two years later is a lot better version of the game than on release date. There is so many games that I enjoyed and people are like, oh man, but this game is stutters. There is frame drops. There is like the game glitches. It, it deletes your save file. And I'm like, I didn't have any of those problems because they fixed them. <laughs> plus, plus, I get it cheaper, right? Um... So I'm getting a better game for less price. The only, the only thing is I get it later, which I don't really care. There's so many good games to play that I don't need to be like, I need to play the, the last game that came out, you know? Yeah, I don't think this guy can be killed. Let's go. Oh shit, this guy for me! There's a boulder. You motherfucker. Okay, let's reload. <laughs> now that we know. Now that we know. Uh wait, the the war went past me. He went to where the boulder was. So maybe I had to go that way and then come back or something? Let's see. 
that sound, though. <laughs> okay, we're gonna kill this guy. Oh, damn, the revolver! Two shots. Ish. Alright, so that guy's going that way. What if I keep going this way, though? This is a, this is a freaking maze. Oh, he's there now. Let's see. Where am I here? Ooh. Stop laughing. <laughs> Let me see. Where did I come from? I came from there. Can I go? No, oh, okay. Is he ever gonna stop? Or. Like, I don't even know where he went. He went. He opened this. And I also can go back to where he was, right? Wait. What the fuck? What's that glitch? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, bro. Did, 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 did this worm just get stuck somewhere? Let me go back to where he was. Because this goes for circle. He was back here. Okay. Okay, he stopped laughing. He stopped laughing, thank you. That was annoying. Wait, this is the hole from the kitchen, from the cellar, right? Yeah. Okay, so I told you it was kind of interconnected. So you had to... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Then there is no point going that way. Okay, what if... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is this supposed to happen? Okay, what if I drop here? Okay. Oh, I can jump back up. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell? It, this reminds me of uh, what is that thing called? The the thief from the lake or the the swamp. And this guy, oh damn! The lamp goes off. The carriages are wet. Are you serious? Uh, well, uh, uh, I'm getting bitch slapped, man. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> Slap fight. Let's go away. So now this thing is gonna come. I, if I drop to the water, the carry cat reach the the ammo gets wet. So, what if I just keep going, or I have to go to the water? Come on. What if I go this way? Oh, that's gonna drop. Okay. Oh, I can jump. Look, I have a new action: jump. Wow, game. Wow. So random. That guy just went went away. Hello? Oh, he's reappearing next to me! Go up! Jute. Bye-bye. What is that? I don't know. I do not remember that creature at all. What is that? Hello? How how is that creature not in my memory? This is like a big spider dog. What the fuck is that thing? How is this? How did I forget about this thing? Hello? Like, I, I didn't even know this thing was in the game. Can I kill this thing? Oof. Look at the anus. Look at that butthole. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Looks friendly. Just being enemy after enemy, like a down boss rush. I mean, the first half of the game was a lot of puzzles, right? I think it was more like puzzles and enemies. Very good mix. But right now, this is the end game. Oh, yeah, because there's like, there's like bats flying over there. And we had to jump too, huh? 
I missed. Got to aim. Holy shit. This is not like Resident Evil where there's auto aim. I, I actually had to like... Oh, I hit him once. How many bullets do I have? Two bullets. I have two bullets. Oh! Got him. I think I have more ammo though. Reload? Yeah, I reloaded. I have seven bullets now. But I don't have any more ammo. That looks like a moth. Okay, we're gonna save. Save scum. And I'm gonna jump through here. I love how they only give you the jump option. <coughs> Remember, guys, this is like Tomb Raider, where if you jump to the ledge, Lara will grab the ledge or like set position. No, no, no. This is this is free jumping. This is free jolloing. Now the question is, this one to my right looks too close, so it looks like I'm gonna jump over, and then the one on the left looks too far. So, where the fuck do I go? <laughs> Maybe, which one, which one do you guys think I had to go to? Because that looks too far. This one looks good. But if I jump to that one, where do I go after? You know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the edge and try to jump on this one. Okay, oof, almost went over. Okay, now I'm gonna try to jump over there. Okay, okay, this is good. I think we have to reach that one on the top right. And if I fall to the water, I have to like backtrack, go back to the monster, and repeat the jumps. Yeah. The one on my right, yeah, that's the one I had to jump to. We did it. We did it. Okay. Okay. Two more jumps. I'm not sure the the perception that is so deceptive. I feel like, like I'm not sure if this is a good angle. I think it is though. I'm literally on the edge. Holy shit! That was close. Oh, we did it. First try. Let's go. We're gaming, guys. We're gaming. And the thing is, if you fall, the, the, the game punishes you by making your ammo wet. So you cannot shoot anymore. <laughs> it's not only that you fall, that you have to... You, 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 uh, you drop and you have to repeat the section. Is that also the game punishes you in more ways. Is that one we're going to be here again? I don't even know where I'm going. What is that? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what about the other way? Now we are beneath the mansion where... Bye-bye. <laughs> no, thank you. I hope that monster doesn't follow me all the way over here. That was creepy. And those moments with the music and I don't know. Ba back in the 90s, that was that was peak horror, guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is this sword here? This decoration. Okay, so what the hook? <laughs> Flying right into the camera. Did I go left or right? Did the graphics get worse? Yeah, we're playing on low graphics style, guys. Shit. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh man. We come so far. Hey, we're playing on high graphics. It looks exactly the same. Hey. Yo, that that spider is back there. You guys see it? Look. You guys see the, the purple legs behind my character's head around the corner? That's so creepy. It's there. It's wait, if I go back there, it's going to be there. Okay, we're going to go this way. I'm going to equip the jump, but if I run, I feel like 
the planks are gonna start falling, but I'm not sure at what speed, right? So hey, they then fell. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy with their or their rifle this time. I hope I don't miss. Their recoil. And I did miss. <clears throat> okay, I don't know where to go. This is Fuck. I think this enemy is bothering me. I'm gonna reload, guys. Because I'm, you know. <laughs> I don't wanna waste two bullets, man. Okay, I think I have to go down here. Oh, so maybe some platforms fall and others don't fall. Yeah. You know, maybe this one falls. No, it doesn't. Oh, it did. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost this back. We need to hurry. Where the fuck am I? Okay, go, 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 go. <clears throat> no one saw that. <laughs> The water monster comes back, and there was a chest at the end of the room, and I think the key I have is for that chest. Imagine you reach this part of the game and you didn't get that key, and you have to go all the way back to the mansion <laughs> to get the key. <laughs> That'll suck. Alright, uh, let's try to go... I don't think I can climb that one on the top left. So... I'm not sure. I can barely see where I'm walking on. Okay, that's a yikes. Come on, man. Yeah, we got this. This is this part is tricky. This part is very tricky. Okay. I think it's better if I go here. Then climb. Yeah. The only problem with this is I cannot go come back ever. So that is a one way. And also the monster is closer to me, so. Okay, climb. Okay, I need to be lined up if, if you hit me. Okay, okay, we're fine. So hard to keep the line straight, man. You are The mouth hit me. Oh, we shot it once, though. No. Oh, right, we got it. We got it. He's still alive, <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> the other one took two hits, and now the game's like, no, now it's three. I got trolled so hard. We're still 21 in health. I think we're fine. I'm gonna keep going. How much ammo do we have? I have three bullets. This is like a fuck up level of Echo Chrome. It's not like one of one of those platforms. I, I never play. Is that a game or something? But I'm guessing the way she feels like. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like she's free falling. Oh, the monster's back! Don't let it. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, lady. There you go. Almost got me. It was fishing for me. Yeah, this is a long... This is a long... Why is she falling? Like, I'm... Thank you. Okay, now... I need the best angle, because I'm gonna sprint. And if you walk to the side, the game is like, oh yeah, you walk to the side. Fuck you, you know. 90 degrees. Ah, uh, it's like, I'm not sure if I'm like 90, 70, 60, you know, I'm not sure. It's like... Oh! Okay. We corrected, we corrected. The... Oh, we got, the, this is the key for this chest. Now we got a gem and a book. A gem and a book. Okay. We're gonna throw this key. The key to the Paris chest. 
the pirate's chest, huh? Well, let's read the book. Memoirs of a Lost Soul The mask must fall. You who discover this manuscript understand this. I am here at your side. I am waiting in the darkness of my crypt. Soon you will belong to me. One of my slaves wrote this document. I have lived for three centuries, and my name is Ezekiel Prakst, or Eliah Pickford. You may choose which to call me. You guys have to understand, back in 1992, this voice acting was revolutionary. There was no other games with this shit. And it, it sounds a bit goofy, right? Like Resident Evil 1 original voice acting with Barry. We all know, right? But to me, this is... I think this is excellent. It's like, it puts you in that mood of that fear and not knowing what these entities are. Yeah. <laughs> Why are all evil fuckers named Ezekiel? <laughs> Maybe he shows the name on purpose. I do not hide out of fear. My power is immense. I have sailed the seven seas. My ship, the Astarte, spread terror through all the continents. The Corsairs judged me like the Welsh judges of 1620. But they could not destroy me, and neither could the pirates. Now, I am immobilized. Damned Yankees! <laughs> That's so uh, great. <laughs> Damn Yankees! <laughs> Witchcraft, voodoo, <sighs> and the Cthulhu cult. I know them all. I have reigned and implored the stones. Only the Catonian haunts the cavern and resists me, but he dare not attack. I have need of a living body to regenerate it's myself. Like Voldemort. The Heartwoods managed to escape from me, but you who are reading these words, you, you? will yield to my embrace. I hear your ragged breath <laughs> and smell the stench of your fear. I have vanquished death. I built Deceto. I know what it is to wait. Cthulhu helps me. My servants will lay you upon the sacrificial stone. My roar will rend the night. You will be mine, and I shall reign once more. <laughs> Come to me. This is great. This is some horror series B shit, man. Oh, man, so goofy that it's... Uh, it's scary too, right? If it is. Oh man, that was great. A pirate's luck book. Wow. He's, he's putting all his emotion in that delivery. Okay, so there's a rock here. Um, I'll Can I push this rock to the side, man? Yep. Yeah, this woman's strong! Sheesh! Alright, uh, we're gonna save. Um, I'm not sure where I am. Okay. Look at this. Look at this uh, decoration. It's like this places they're so cool in my opinion and after we have after we, we, all we have learned about the mansion their setters the family <clears throat> what's over here there is a door here i 
I cannot open it. I wish the camera was different to see what the hell. There is a mechanism to trigger. Maybe we put the gem here? There is no room. A mechanism. A talisman? Mm, wait, let me... Is there any hint? On the doll... I want to change the camera again. Nope. I mean... What can it be? A poker, maybe? We've been carrying the poker up from the beginning of the game to put it there. Oh man, that would be great. Like, I'm not sure if I'm putting it in the right place. I do have to be looking. There is like a stone with something like an indentation or something on the middle, but I just don't know if I'm looking at the right place. I'm not sure if this is mandatory or just optional. Sword, revolver, oil lamp. Maybe the oil lamp. No, she's like. What if I use it? No. Um. I don't know what to put there. Is this the room that I'm thinking of? Yes. So, this room is in the dark. Now, before I go there, let me, let me explain something. That room, imagine like a huge maze. Not too huge, but like, decently, like, let's say, I don't know, we're gonna say it now, but... That maze... I did it in complete darkness. <laughs> so basically, it's it, without knowing the layout, by the way, because I don't think I have oil or something. So madman. But basically, you guys are gonna see this maze is freaking huge, and you can get stuck in any way or find dead ends. I don't know where I am. Yeah, this is a dead end. So when you play without light and you're just hearing the steps. And if you get lost, you have to find your way back. I I I think this section of the game is genius. Oh, and there's multiple screens too. So if you basically the game is putting a timer on you. This is a rock or something? I'm push I I'm I'm pushing but nothing seems to be happening. Okay, what if I What is that thing? But now I'm curious about finding out what that door is because I'm not sure if that door is an Easter egg or something or a secret or is mandatory for to finish his story, I'm not sure. Um, so, since I don't know what to do, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, it's weird because we have we have the gem thingy. We have the poker too. Where the fuck am I going? Did you guys see how many times I go switching screens here? What if I go all the way over here? This, that's a dead end. Is that dead end? Oh man, it's like an a multi screens interconnected maze. I don't even know where I am. How much? I have 63 oil. So basically, I haven't used the lamp in the whole game because I knew this was coming. I was saving it for it. And it's very important you run. Don't walk. But that looks like a dead end. 
Okay. Let's go this way. Now, imagine doing this in pitch black, like this. Like this. I did it. <laughs> Once. But I did it. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. This is yet another dead end. Oh man, this sucks. I'm going backwards now, right? Yeah. Wait, is this a door? Is that a door? Oh man, I'm gonna have to like... Drop this here. Bro! Bro, what the fuck? I almost didn't. I was like, oh, this is another dead end. Let's keep looking. <laughs> that was the way. Oh, here we are. We have seen this place on the painting back when we, the the guy with the bow, the Indian guy who was shooting me. All right, now. I think this is the end of the game. This is the final boss, guys. The final boss is a tree. <laughs> but that, I think this is where the spirit of that guy who left the book the Ezekiel guy with the pirate thingy. Leaves. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. And he's shooting me fireballs. And this is where they bring you when you die, this altar. You see? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that a hook? Hook. What if I go behind? Is there anything back here? No. I need to get moving. Ouch. A hook. You know what? I'm t I'm gonna go back to. <laughs> get fucking wrecked, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go. What if I go this way and I try the hook on that that rock that we saw before, right? But this is where they carry me when I die. Oh, I didn't use it. Oh, this is a shortcut to... Oh, this is perfect. Okay, we got it. There you go. That's what I wanted to, to do. So I wonder what... Why would they put that there? So you get back to the mansion quicker. Okay. The lamp goes off. Alright, guys. So... To kill this boss, to kill the final boss in the game... You have to get up here. I think. I hope it works. You grab the lamp and you throw it at the, at the tree. Jit. And I missed. <laughs> I missed. I went to went to go there, pick it up, and try again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <No. laughs> Bro. I whiffed. Totally. No! Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is. Oh, the, the fireball. <laughs> the fireball saved me. Wait, I'm gonna. Bro, how many times is a guy gonna die? I think I can throw it from this platform too, but I want to see. I want to see the lamp flying, you know? So. Okay. Let's aim. It's, it's not easy, you know? Like, you guys think that's good? Wait, let's throw something. Let's throw something else. Let's throw this thing. Take that. All right, that looks good. Jute! Wait, what? 
Wait, maybe that, that maybe that's not how you kill this boss. <laughs> maybe my memory is. I'm not sure how you kill this boss. Maybe it's a. Imagine I need the ritual dagger or something. I forgot how you kill this guy. I don't think he's shooting. Oh, the talisman, maybe? Maybe it's the talisman, guys. Because the talisman is like anti demon, right? Anti spells. What's the talisman for otherwise? I just remember, man. I forgot to read two books at the library, and they, they, they were very good books. All right, let's try the talisman then. Okay, I think now the tree is weak. It was invincible until now. I have more health, by the way. Now we do the lamp. <laughs> Yo, is this it? Is this it? Nope. Bro, what? Shoot it. I don't know. Maybe I have to throw it from... From here. I'm gonna try. So, can I... The lamp is on. Throw. Oh, shoot! Boom! Burn! Manifected! Got him! Get out of here! We need to run! Rockets are falling. I'm poor health, man. I'm gonna die by a freaking rock after killing the after killing the fucking main boss. We need to get out of the mansion. Wait, do I need to jump? Oh shit! Run! <laughs> I did it. That's what matters. Oh no! Is it is it gonna be like falling rocks on the way back in these tunnels and shit? Please no. Wait. This is locked. Hello? How do I get out? Well, that's uh, anticlimactic. The, uh, is there an exit on the maze? Wait, but I don't have the freaking lamp. Wait, what? Oh, but now it's lit. Now it's lit. Okay. Can I? Can I open this? There is a mechanism to trigger the poker. What mechanism? Oh, this the, the hook. There you go. Bro, I'm fighting. I'm I'm finding shit on the way. <laughs> uh, as I go, wait. No, we open that. We go this way. This is backwards, right? Uh, sh sure. I love how. Oh my goodness! Last time I jumped that, so is the monster the water monster? What is what is that that tail called, guys? The the thing from the swamp or something, right? You guys know what I mean? I I never killed a worm. I, I hope he's gone. Wait, where am I going? But I feel like that free fight is cool. It's like a puzzle fight. Uh, which way do I go? To the rats? I guess we go to the rats. I mean, the other one is closer, but... Oh, we never went this way. In this direction. So if you don't remove the thing from the cellar, the barrels, that, that path will be blocked. Imagine if, if we, imagine if we are about to finish the game and I die to a rat. That'll be funny. I think the rats are gone, though. I think all the enemies are gone. Clueless. Can we leave the mansion, please? Can we finish the game in three hours?
I need that notebook for journalism purposes. All right, let's open this door. Is it warm here? Or are we good? Oh, shit! Freedom! We did it! Yeah, we're going back home, boys. Classic. It's like those 70s movies. Hey, yo, pick me up. Look at the driver, guys. Oh, shit! <laughs> the end. Well, we just did Alone in the Dark. That was fun. That was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Beautiful game. I love this game so much. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna play Alone in the Dark 3. Now, Alone in the Dark 3, I never finished it. And I'm not even sure how far I got into that game. <laughs> but we're gonna try. This, that game is... I think Alone in the Dark 3 is harder. Like the puzzles are the puzzles are bullshit. <laughs> Let's put it that way. No, I think they're very well done, but they're really hard to figure out. So, yep. All right, begin a new game. Now we have to play the whole game again with the male character. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> have a good night. I'll catch you next time with Alan Dark Three. Bye bye.